What is going on guys? Today I'm going to bring you a quick tutorial on how to install the Clay Soldiers mod for Minecraft on your Mac. In this tutorial I'm going to be doing it for version 1.3.2 and well that's about it. <laughs> Alright guys, um, before I get into this tutorial let me just say I do recommend that you force update your Minecraft before you do this tutorial because if you're like me and you have had mods installed before you don't know if they're compatible with the Clay Soldiers mods so you may want to force update. How you do this is you open up your Minecraft, you go to options, force update, hit done, and log in. Once again, this is not um, required, this is only just highly recommended. In doing this, it will, I believe, I know it will clear out any mods you have, and I think that's it. It won't get rid of any texture packs or anything. But it will reset your bin, so just make sure you know that. Okay, so once or if you have force updated your Minecraft, you're going to want to download these two files. Okay, the first file is the Clay Soldiers mod, which I'll show you how to download in a minute, and the other one is Universal Forge 1.3.2 for Mac. This is my own folder that I custom made just for you guys, so it is a lot more convenient and easier to install the mod, because if you check out my previous video, just the one right behind this one, you'll see that it is a pain in the butt to install this, but this folder, I've already gotten rid of all the unnecessary files for this mod. Okay, so yeah, you're going to want to have those two links open. Once you have those two links open, you're going to want to download each one. So for the Clay Soldiers mod, this one's kind of a pain in the butt. So you're going to want to go into the form and scroll way down. After you, yeah, so you're going to want to scroll down, keep on scrolling past all these banners. And then you'll start getting to the recipes and the videos. And then, number seven, you're going to look for number seven downloads. Current download, hit download. It should take you to an ad fly link. Up here it should say please wait. Countdown clock. Two, one. And then you're going to want to skip the ad. And it should download it. Now I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to keep this. Okay. So you're going to want to get that file and you're going to want to save it to your desktop or wherever you know you can save it. And then you're going to want to go to Universal Forge and click download for that as well. And it should download that. Now once you have those two files downloaded, you're going to want to go find them in your downloads. So there they are and you're going to want to move them onto your desktop. Hold on, just resize this. You're going to want to move them to your desktop. Just like that. Now in this tutorial, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to install too many items. It's going to be really quick and brief, just because everyone has been requesting that when I do a mod tutorial, I also kind of show how to install too many items with the mod. It's really easy, guys. You'll see from this video. So once you have those two maybe three items downloaded onto your desktop, you're going to want to locate the Minecraft folder. So you can minimize your internet browser, and you're going to want to click anywhere on your desktop. So just go on your desktop and click. Make sure you're not clicking on a folder, just in a blank spot on your desktop. Then you're going to want to go up to here to go. And you're going to want to click go to folder and type that in. Squiggly backslash library. And then hit go. The squiggly button, by the way, is up in the top left hand of your keyboard and then hit go. Once you've done that, it should take you to your library folder. That's pretty much where you're going here. Then you're going to want to go into application support. Then you're going to want to go f into Minecraft. Then you're going to want to go into your bin. Once you're in your bin, you're going to find Minecraft.jar. You're going to want to right click on that, open with the unarchiver. Um, you probably won't have the option, the unarchiver there. I'm going to answer another question that I've had from some of my viewers. You want to download the unarchiver off the internet or from the Mac App Store. It is free. And it is virus free or whatever. Just download it. Now, if you download it, that will not magically make it appear here. You will have to download it and open it. And it will have a bunch of checkboxes that you have to check the, the um, folders that you want to automatically open with the unarchiver. Um, so that's that's the bottom line. You're just going to want to download it and then open it. You're going to want to manually open it to make it work. So I know that took a while to explain there, guys, but I had to explain that. So download the unarchiver and use it. Then you're going to want to extract this to your desktop. If the extract option doesn't pop up, it's not a big deal. It probably automatically extracted it into your bin. So you're going to want to get that Minecraft folder that you just extracted and drag it into your bin. And then you can move the Minecraft.jar into your garbage. But don't empty your trash because you can use that as a backup later if for some reason you mess up. So once you have the Minecraft folder that you just created or extracted, 
in your bin folder, you're going to want to go into it. And you're going to want to locate a folder called meta inf or meta inf. If you don't have that folder in there, it's not a big deal, but double check to make sure you do because you want to get rid of it if you do. Okay, so once you have that in the garbage or it's not in here for sure, you're going to want to get to installing the mod. So the universal forge mod you're going to want to open up. It should just extract it and it should make a new folder. So this one you don't need anymore. You can move that to the side. So this universal forge folder that you just, I guess, made, go into that. And you should have all these class files here. You're going to want to highlight all these by hitting Command A on your keyboard. Then you're going to want to copy them all. Then you're going to want to go into here and you're going to want to paste them all by hitting Command V. Check, apply to all, and replace. So once again, what we just did there, we copied all these, pasted them in there. That's really all we did. Copy and paste. Every single one in here, into there. Okay, so once you have those copy and pasted into here, you're going to want to go back. Only go back once, though. And find that Minecraft folder you just created about two minutes ago. Right click on it, click get info. Now under name and extension, you're going to see Minecraft, which is the name of the folder. Type in period jar, also known as dot jar. Then hit enter on your keyboard or exit out. Something should pop up that should say don't add or add. Make sure you hit add. Now the folder should be named minecraft.jar. That means you're doing something right. Okay, now go back. And you're going to want to create a new folder in your other Minecraft folder. So you should be in the area where there's bin, last login, options, not text, resources, etc. Right click, create a new folder. Name this folder mods, M O D S. No, spa no spaces, no capitals. That, once again, that's M O D S. Once you have that folder there, you're going to want to get the. whatever this is. Oh, yeah, the Clay Soldiers mod, the dot jar that you downloaded from the internet as well. Drag that into that mods folder. Check the mods folder, make sure it's in there. It should say mods up here, and it should have that dot jar and only that dar dot jar in there, unless you have other mods installed. So once you've done all that, once you've installed um, Universal Forge and created and renamed Minecraft to Minecraft.jar, and you've put the Clay Soldiers mod in that mods folder that you created that has no capitals and no spaces, the mod should be installed. Oh wait, sorry guys. So you also want to know how to install too many items. Okay, go back into your bin, go back into that Minecraft.jar, which should only be a folder, go in, open up too many items, Highlight all the files again, copy all the files again, and paste the files. That's it. Super simple, nothing much more to it. Alright guys, so now that you have too many items and Clay Soldier, Clay Soldier mod slash Universal Forge, let's log on in and check it out. So if this pops up, that means you're doing something right as well, because that means that you installed Universal Forge correctly. Down here it should say three, maybe four mods active, depending if you installed too many items or not. You're going to want to go to single player, create a world, or go in a world that you previously had. And you can make it whatever you want. I'm going to make it creative, and I'm going to make it super flat. And create a new world. Okay, so this is really mostly just an installation tutorial, guys, so I'm not going to really explain the mod in full depth. But I will get into a little bit with you guys. Okay, hold on. Make it peaceful so those jelly thingies don't come at me. So let me just give you a 30 second brief thing of what this does. There is a ton to do with it. There is a ton to do. Remember how we were scrolling down on the page where you downloaded this and there were a ton of those colorful banners? Yeah, there's a lot you can do. Like, you can upgrade all these soldiers and everything. They're pretty cool. Alright, so let me just give you a brief thing of what they do. Okay, so there's 16 green, here's 16 gray. Watch them battle it out. I know. It's Amazing, isn't it? Mm. Now you can make it even more spunky. You can get some, I don't know, some of these things. And then they'll hop on these. They might. Yeah, see that one's riding it. You can also go into first person or, excuse, yeah, first person view with them. And you can go into it with them. So, yeah. And the cool thing about this mod is it recycles. So when they die, you just pick them on back up. Nothing's wasted. And after the war's over, and we see who won here, I'm going to show you one more thing. Sorry, this is a little longer than that 30 second time frame I told you about. Alright, let's see who wins. Oh, it's probably going to be green. Oh. Yep, and there's that battle, guys. Okay, so as you can see, now I have all these lizard things. Yep, green one. Oh. No, just kidding, I won. But, um, so now that you have all these lizard things out here, I know, you don't want those spamming your Minecraft. You get this handy-dandy clay disruptor, and you just, you know, shazam. And as you can see, they're all there. You're like Jesus. But, oh, no, still more over here. Wait, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Let's kill those. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm not gonna go pick these all up. Okay, there's still more. Let me just kill these off, because they're annoying. Hold on. No, 
those are dead. And that one's dead. Okay. So guys, that's pretty much how the mod works. I'm not going to get into much more detail about this mod. Um, because I'm just not going to. Um, if you guys think I should do reviews as well as these installation tutorials, maybe combine them both into one and make a, you know, a little bit of a longer video, leave a comment. If you have any other mods that you think are really cool and you want me to do an installation tutorial because you're a little confused on how to do it, I will do it. Most likely. Alright guys, but thanks a lot for watching. I really hope this helped. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Alright guys, peace out. Hey guys, if you're still here, maybe you've cared to check out my previous video, which was uh, a build, a mod called Buildcraft. I don't know too much about it, and I still don't. I didn't want to make the video, and I don't now. It's a little confusing, but I showed you how to install it. And if you click on that silver question mark, that'll take you to one of my random videos. You don't know which video it'll be. That's a surprise. And if you click that old-fashioned yellow subscribe button in the bottom right, it'll inform you when I make a new mod installation video. Plus, you'll get informed on a mod you may not have known of. And if you could hit that like button, I really do appreciate it more than you'd think. And that would make my day. Alright guys, have a great day. See you later.